A strong earthquake of magnitude 5.5 has hit China today at the Taklamakan Desert in the Tibet region. This is of course in the Himalayas. We have a very big fault line there. This is today's earthquake, depth of about 6 miles down, 10 kilometers. And from what uh, we see, it has not been reported to USGS. I mean, hardly anybody lives out there. But we have a, a tremendous amount of shaking, as you can see in this whole area, from the quake maps, the frequencies of the quake maps. Now, uh, we don't really, I don't really dwell too much on the China earthquakes, but there's been a number of big earthquakes in this area, anywhere between 5.5 to 6.5. You can see here that we also have a very strange uh, number of lakes in there. They're not small, but uh, from what I've seen, uh, there's a paper that recently has been written about the new lakes in the Taklamakan Desert, because it's a desert area, as we know. And this is uh, geophysical research letters. The uh, Taklamakan Desert of Northwest China, one of the largest deserts in the world, being far removed from the oceans and surrounded by huge mountains on all sides, it's an area that's one of the driest on Earth. Overuse of groundwater and construction of dams on major rivers further dried up many lakes, including Lop Nur and Tai Tema Lake. Two hypotheses have been pro proposed. One is that it came from the ecological water release from the government implemented project. But now we have regional geology and hydrologic settings. Finally, support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. The Tarin Basin borders the Tiansman Mountains on the north and Kundalun Mountains on the south. Numerous earthquakes in these mountains bear evidence to the active tectonics, the study area located in the southeast Tarim Basin, which is underlain by the Precambian metamorphic basement. The uh, Cherchen River, originating in Kunlun and the Alton Mountains, with a drainage basin of about 25,000 square kilometers in an area, and an average of elevation 4,000 meters above sea level. Mountains clustered together with an average of 55%. And those flank from the flanks of the Kunlun Mountains cluster with an average of 33%. The chemical compositions of the lakes has been complicated by human activity over the past 60 years. Now, given that the new lake's water originated from meltwater in the mountains, how did it get there? The lower reaches of the Chirchen River has dried up in the last 40 years following the construction of a dam in the upper regions in the 1970s. Since there is no identifiable surface water as a source of the lake water, groundwater is the only possible source. Detailing groundwater modeling is beyond the scope of the paper, though. And we speculate that the appearance of the new lakes may be related to the increased groundwater discharge introduced induced by the 2000 magnitude 5.7 earthquake in the nearby Alton Mountains and also the 2001 magnitude 8.1 earthquake in the Kunlun Mountains. First order simulation of increased discharge induced by combined effects of the two earthquakes shows that groundwater discharge in the area of the new lakes started to increase in the year 2000, reaching the plateau in 2003 and stayed nearly constant to the year 2007 similar to the timing of the increase in lake area. Assuming a co-seismic region uh, recharge of groundwater of the order of one square kilometer in the mountains has occurred after the Chichi earthquake, similar to annual loss of lake water to evaporation. So based on the data and simulations presented in the study, we infer that the water that formed the new lakes may have come from increased discharge of groundwater from meltwater nearby mountains and the above
conceptual model makes a testable prediction that if the region remains to be basically uh, seismically quiet, discharge of the lake will decrease. And when the, the seismic uh, activity is more frequent, of course, we will have more new lakes and more lake water. So this is the new lakes in the Taklamakan Desert and the um, very large earthquakes in that area. I'll leave links below for you for this. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.